Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video will be focusing primarily on the browser commands that are available and help us to you know, execute our flow from one page to another. So let's see what our browser commands we have. So the very first command is get. Now this command is actually accepting a string. This string is nothing but the URL of the page and helps us to load the, the page or the URL that has been that have been passed into our uh, web driver or whatever version or whatever browser we are using. After this get title. Now get title command helps us to get the title of a current page. Title refers to the HTML title tag that is there in the HTML page. Get current URL. Say you want to get a URL of the page or you are on. So with this you simply you know pass get current URL and this would return you a string of the entire URL, the exact URL from the HTTPS to the end of the URL of the current page in the web driver. Then get page source. This, uh, this, function, this, this is a function in Java and it would simply get the entire page source or the entire HTML code of the page into your as a string parameter and we don't need to pass anything in this function. After this close, this actually closes the current window of the web driver. Now, say I am done with my execution and I want to close it or I, am, I don't want any further execution, I pass the quit. This closes all the windows. Say I'm having five windows open a web driver, then quit would close everything and would return nothing but the execution would be ended for the web driver. So this was all about the web driver. We will be covering it in a practical session after we have covered you know, how do I actually get started with the web driver. Uh, so guys, uh, now welcome back again. Uh, now like as you already discussed about the web element commands and you know we have seen some common commands like uh, clear, the working of send keys, uh, the click and the submit. Now in this particular session, the practical one, we would be seeing how actually we can work on these commands one by one, right? Uh, so without wasting much of our time, now let's quickly open up our Eclipse and, you know, uh, get started with, you know, running up our uh, projects and, you know, creating a project wherein we would be actually having the uh, web element commands set up and running. So for this, what I request you to kindly is, you know, to create a project named as web elements uh, command demo right now in this one uh, under the src folder just click on new and click on package create a new package say web dot element dot command dot demo the package is just to you know create that is yes, to inform you know, what all uh, what all files will be there into this particular package uh, a package is basically a placeholder for all the Java classes uh, where you try and keep the similar functionality or similar working Java classes into uh, one place, right? So here I name my <coughs> my uh, file or my class as web element command demo. I also want the main function to be present so I you know write public static white main and I click on finish. So here's this what I've got. I've got a class created named as web element command demo and in this particular class I'm having a package under which the file the class is placed or the Java file is placed. Uh, this is the f this is my class name and this is a method from where the execution should get started, right? So now what I'll do is the very first step or the very basic step is actually setting up of our property right so I set up the property the property is named as web driver dot geeku dot driver and here I type in geeku here I and this one now like we need to find a URL where we, you know, wherein we would be uh, performing the testing. So what I'll do is I'll like open up my Firefox. So my Firefox has been opened up, 
Now, for your reference, let me show you a page where you know you can actually test or you know you can practice the testing, right? So, search here Selenium. Now, here, if you can look under the Selenium useful resources, you can find Selenium automation practice, right? So, what you will do is I'll simply uh, copy this link and perform the you know the working on to this link but I request you that you know what you can do is maybe from the from the home page you can navigate up to this page uh, using the selenium commands right so here my next step is to create a web driver I create a web driver I name it as driver equal to new the name the driver which I would be using it is new Maranta driver. After this, what is the next step is I need to get or I need to you know the open of the URL right. So it's driver dot get. In this get you are, in this get one I'm actually supposed to pass the URL which I'm supposed to get. So I'm getting this URL right now. Now what I'll do is. No, I need a web element. Web element. So, onto this page, I'll first type something into this first name one, right? So, I inspect the element to find the property. So, I would be using the name. So, here's it. Web element. I name it as name equal to driver dot find element by dot oh no we are using the name over here right so we pass the name property I paste my this one and here I am working fine and here I am working you know fine just to make sure that yes you know the name has been the name element has been found and it is of a type web element so under the name one the very first operation I would be performing I would be clearing if in case there is some text and then I am actually typing right so what I'll do is I'll send key by send key I can actually pass any sequence of character into my particular you know like uh, what you can call a input box or into your you know your, your form or any text area where you want to enter some values right so this is what I did now I'll also try and get another element the, like obviously we were using if you remember the click functionality as we were discussing so when we can perform click either it has to be on some of the form element itself so I would try to click onto this button that is present over here I am inspecting the element by chance this is also having the name property available to me so this is my web element I pass this element and I name it as submit underscore button and it's driver dot find element by dot obviously the name in the name if you can recall we have already copied the name so I paste my name over here and now the very simple task I need to click this one right so this was all for this particular web element now let's quickly run this project and see uh, the output onto our web driver or onto our Firefox so this is my new instance of Firefox opening up it's still loading, it's taking some time. You have to be patient for it. Once the page has been loaded up, like it is almost done, just so.
the the actions were very quick let me first cancel this one and let me show you the working so tutorial has been typed over here into the first name and this button was clicked so if you remember if you can recall this is this was information that you were getting an uh, alert this was on the click of this submit button right so like this was very simple pretty simple let me you know go through it once again so here's it my uh, I've created you know I've set the property first I've created a new web element I'm getting the URL I'm getting the web element I'm you know typing something into the name field getting the uh, object or you know handling the web element which has the name submit and then I click on this element right so this was pretty simple uh, like maybe you can practice these things a bit more you can fill up the entire form that is displayed on the website it would help you to get some more insight into these uh, function functions like the clear the send keys in the click one so thank you guys for tuning in